What's going on guys, Mr. Crazy here today. We'll be doing an Iron Maiden song um, cover, I should say. Uh, songs called Run to the Hills. I'm um, not sure if you've uh, heard of the song before, but you should have done anyway, if uh, you're like a bit of a rock person like me. Um, absolutely amazing song. I really, really love this song. Um, I, think, I think I learned it a few months ago. Uh, maybe, what, what year was it? Uh, what month was it, in fact? It might have been around about October, something like that. I learned this, um, but that I learned it like different ways. Because uh, obviously, originally I learned it around about the fifteenth fret, and now I'm learning it around you know the seventh and you know seventh fret, just in that little box. Um, but yeah, all round great, great song. Um, I think there's a few people on YouTube who teach a song. I'm currently learning it from Justin Guitars. Uh, I think Papa Stash does it and Marty Schwartz. I'm not sure who else does it. There's probably some loads more people who do it, but those are the main people I really watch. Um, so really big shout out to them because they're absolute brilliant guitarists, and I learned all I learned practically all my songs from them. So uh, yeah, as you can tell, using my SG um, Epiphone, and as usual, I also use my Spider Fall or Spider Fall or. Spider 4 Line 6 amp. Um, if you do have one of them, I've got it on metal, um, and the mid, uh, treble, the drive is up full. Uh, I don't have any bass on it. Uh, the chain volume is up as well. Um, so, uh, and I've got no effects on to it. So that's how I'm playing it at the moment. It's in obviously standard tuning. Um, so uh, yeah, it should go something like this. <laughs>
and that's pretty much how it goes. I did leave it one bit out um, halfway playing that and I didn't even realise it until I actually started playing the next bit. I left out the beginning of the actual solo bit, uh, the rhythm bit. It's, it, it is simple, I mean, when I was, it's, it's after, no, sorry, before that. <laughs> It's just before that, so it goes. So you play that twice, and then it goes to that. It goes to that bit. I keep making mistakes, I need to try and make a video without making mistakes, it's really annoying. Um, I've actually tried to do this like, you know, I think it's about three times now and I keep making mistakes. It's like, oh, come on, it's really annoying. But um, yeah, so that's what it is to be fair, I mean, it's exactly how it went, but just before I, I go to that. Just before that, it's that. It's just basically strumming the uh, low E and the A string, uh, having your f index finger on the second fret of the A string and just going. So it's a... Then it's obviously having your index finger on the third fret, of the uh, low E string, and then your ring finger on the fifth fret, of the A string. So. It's the same again, just half a step up. So obviously you've got your index finger on the third fret of the A, and then your ring finger on the fifth fret of the D. And that's what it is. But you, you want to try and make it a bit of a gallop. So. You want to try and mute it as well if you can. So obviously you leave it open, so then mute it. Then same again. Then when it's when it's that, see how you go. You want to do it open again, so like that. So obviously it kind of ends it there, and then obviously you go to. The only reason I was messing up on that is well, that's a whole different thing. I used to play it down here. I think I had a little play it now. I used to play it. I used to play it like that. So it's a bit of a difference going from down there to up there. But either way, that's it, beside the point. That's Run to the Hills. Um, I highly recommend this song. Absolutely brilliant song to play. Um, and by an absolutely brilliant band. Um, it's, I wouldn't, I'll try and learn it when you've learned a little bit more of your guitar, like if you've learned a few, few pentatonic scales. I haven't learned that much of them, um, but I've learned plenty of songs. I, I probably know over 30, it's 30 songs or something like that maybe. Um, but yeah, either way, if you want me to do any more um, songs, well, I'll do more songs, but just request some down below. Um, I do know uh, some, like, it sounds a bit geeky when I say this. I've learnt some game themes, um, and I've also learnt some TV themes as well. Uh, if you have any of them uh, if you, want me, uh, you want me to take a look at, please let me know. I really, really would like, like to see what your thoughts are on that, and I will try and learn them. If I can't, then I will let you know. I will let you know. Um, but I'll try my best to uh, try and um, play them for you. So yeah, but uh, yeah, please give it, uh, this video a like, comment, and subscribe. Um, we've almost reached double digits, so I can't thank you guys enough. It sound I know it sounds like a small number, but to me, it's these you you guys watching these videos. It means everything to me.
watching these videos, but you know, going in your spare time to watch my videos is just brilliant and I really, really do appreciate it. So please smash that uh, thumbs up button and uh, that subscribe button as well. Um, so yeah, that's Wind of the Hills uh, uh, on the um, SG Epiphone. And yeah, I'll see you guys on another video.